Have you ever noticed that some cruise ships just can't seem to find a permanent home? And for whatever reason, after they're built, they seem to jump around from cruise line to cruise line, never staying in one particular place for an extended period of time. Well, one such ship that does fit this bill is Ambassador Cruises' newest ship, Ambition. She has a fascinating history that has seen her operate for a number of different cruise brands, and it is my hope that now that she's sailing with Ambassador Cruises, she might have finally found her permanent home. Ambition can trace her history back to the late 1990s, when an order was placed by Renaissance Cruises for a new cruise ship in 1996. The order was placed at Le Chantier de l'Atlantique shipyard in Saint-Nazaire in France for a 48,200 gross ton ship with a length of 216 metres. The vessel would have eight passenger decks and a top speed of 19.5 knots and was designed to bring Renaissance cruisers into the 21st century. However, the vessel was not taken up by Renaissance cruisers and they instead opted to build a fleet of ships called the R-Class, which I've covered in other videos that you can find in the info card or the description below. This left Le Chantier de l'Atlantique with a ship and no buyer, and so they actually organised to complete the construction of the vessel, and then working with a third party, chartered it out to Festival Cruises. The vessel was named the Mistral. This was the first new build ship for Festival Cruises. Festival Cruises chartered the ship with an option to take her on as their own and was floated out on the 2nd of January 1999 and christened a few months later on the 25th of June. She sailed for her maiden voyage on the 17th of July 1999 on a voyage around the Greek islands. It looked like the ship would settle into a regular schedule of cruises for Festival Cruises and she stayed with them until the beginning of the 21st century. However, Festival Cruises collapsed in 2004 and the Mistral was sold off by the creditors. The vessel was sold to the Alstom Group, which owned Le Chantier de l'Atlantique at the time. She was then chartered to Iberojet and operated by their subsidiary Ibero Cruises. The ship was originally marketed as Ibero Star Mistral, but she was sold to Iberojet and ultimately renamed Grand Mistral in 2005. If you don't know me, my name's Chris Frame and I'm a maritime history author and lecturer. I speak on board cruise ships and also at maritime museums around the world. I'm also the co-host of the Big Cruise Podcast. You can find all the details in the description below. The Carnival Corporation and the Orizonia Corporation created a joint venture in 2007. And under this, they took command of Ibero Jet's cruise brand. This meant that the Grand Mistral was now part of the Carnival stable. By August 2013, the ship moved from Ibero Cruises to the Costa Cruises fleet, entering service with Costa in November. She was given a refurbishment and renamed the Costa Neo Riviera. The ship that was the Mistral formed an integral part of Costa's plan to build a new brand around smaller ships, taking longer cruises and making calls at more ports. The ship was transformed, though her funnel and exterior appearance did remain relatively the same. She did wear the Costa Cruises colours. But her stay at Costa didn't last for long, and by October 2019 the ship left the fleet and moved across to Carnival Corporation's Aida Cruises. She was given another refurbishment where Aida spent $55 million on transforming the vessel to suit the German market. She was renamed Aida Mira and set sail on the 28th of November 2019 on her maiden voyage for Aida. The vessel was part of the Aida selection program, which also included Aida Aura, Aida Cara, and Aida Vita. Just like her time at Costa, she was used to operate longer itineraries with more port calls. However, in March of 2020, the ship was laid up as part of the ongoing crisis around the COVID pandemic. She sailed for the Mediterranean where she was laid up. However, during her layup, Aida sold the ship in January of 2022 to Ambassador Cruise Line. In April of that year, she was sent for another refurbishment at the Lloyd Werft shipyard in Bremerhaven, Germany to be suitable for the British market, but also to prepare the ship for cruising after the global cruise shutdown. A lot of work was undertaken on board the ship, including work on her rudders, stabilizers and propellers. But she left Bremerhaven on the 8th of May 2023 to head to the port of Tyne in Newcastle. Here she was christened by Olympic gold medalist Shirley Robertson to prepare her for her new career at Ambassador Cruises. Today the ship remains with Ambassador Cruises, and she has become a popular member of the Ambassador Cruises fleet. This is an interesting ship because she has had not one, not two, but five operators since 1999. But what I find even more interesting is that the ship is actually the first in a class of ships known as the Mistral class. This includes the MSC Armonia, the MSC Symphonia, the MSC Lyrica, and the MSC Opera. 
meaning that there are five ships in this class. I find it really interesting that despite the fact that Mistral clearly couldn't find a home that suited her for the early part of her career, she never ended up with MSC cruisers. And as you might expect, all of these ships were built at Le Chantier de l'Atlantique shipyard in Saint-Nazaire, France. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you found the video interesting. If you did, please consider giving it a like. And if you're interested in this kind of content or maritime history, check out my back catalogue and consider subscribing. It'd be great to have you on board. Thanks once again for watching and until next time, I hope to see you on board.